Hey, Patrick Murphy here from Quarter Inch Off, and I wanted to do an update on corner blocks. Um, one of the reasons was some, I got some questions about these, so I wanted to show what I was doing. So inside corner blocks look like this, oops, this piece here. They go in a corner just like that, and you butt the trim up to them that way. For outside corner pieces, they look like this. You take the same thing, only you notch them out to go in the corner. Now the problem is that little notch usually isn't enough material to nail in, especially if you're trying with MDF. Additionally, as soon as you notch this out, it moves the block into the wall. And what end up, ends up happening is your baseboard and shoe mold, then there's not enough material on the edge corner here, and the shoe mold will actually stick out. And I didn't like that. So what I did here is I, you can see, I solved that problem by not cutting in at all. Here's this block. I didn't cut in at all. So how did I create the nailing surface in here was I made the block twice as wide. Now since I was using five quarter wood for this, um, I routed the profile on two sides. I basically routed this as one piece. I just made it twice as, twice as uh, wide. And then what I did on the back side is I glued another piece to that. So here's one block, here's the second block glued in. Once you glue it in, you can't tell. There's no lines, there's nothing, you paint it, and it's all gone. But I did that so that, and these aren't finished yet, um, I still need to patch the holes, caulk, and stuff like that. Um, but once you do that, now you can see the base and the shoe are within the block here. They're not sticking outside of the block. Now this works. I've got a closet here. I did the same thing. Um, I just made this side a little bit thinner so that it didn't in interfere with the door coming back here. So as you can see. However, I couldn't do that on the other side. And the reason was, as soon as I would do that, then the door, door wouldn't close. you would hit like this. So on one side, I just stopped, stopped the trim at the corner block. So it's up to your liking whether you like that or not, you know, in your tastes. So on this side, I just did miter baseboard. Um, I didn't do a corner block. There wasn't a whole lot of room here anyway. Um, over here, I had more room, so I wanted it to look more decorative, so I did that. Again, personal preference on which what you like. I could have done the same thing and mitered the baseboard on this but the problem with that is <clears throat> with closet doors you only got a little space for for baseboard trim here there's not a whole lot of space in here uh, to do that so the block worked better for me on this end so that's what I ended up doing for these uh, for the outside corners is I made my corner blocks bigger two pieces um, to do that to me it looks more majestic um, <clears throat> you can see over here I haven't finished the trim I ran out of my baseboard uh, that's all finished over there and I still need to do my door header up here I got it made I just haven't put it in but you got your plinths in the corner you got your door casing on this side is thinner you can, you can see this is wider this is thinner just because the walls there but I put the same same profile on um, also when you put the casing on, you usually use a round over bit to round over both sides. Yeah, I thought I had the right bit in here and I didn't. <laughs> it was a cove bit instead of a round over bit. Um, we like the way that looks. So on all the doors we're doing now, we are, we're putting that cove in the side of the, uh, uh the, uh, door casing as well. So. There it is, quick little update on what I was doing for these outside corner blocks versus my original plan. You know, I made a bunch of these this way, but when I started to notch them out, it just wasn't lining up the way I wanted to, so I went with these much larger ones instead. All right, thanks for watching.